Councillor Corover. Thank you, Mayor. I just have a question about acoustics in the multi-purpose hall. And I'm aware, obviously, that this report that we're dealing with here is just dealing with what is being currently... De what they are, what it, they're delivering. As a, But I'm asking a question about what has already been delivered. So, on page 202, um, it talks about the good acoustics in the multi-purpose hall. I have heard concerns about the acoustics in the multi-purpose hall. I'm just wondering whether what has been delivered is the end of the story or whether we can anticipate getting some better acoustics in the multi-purpose hall. Mr Ferrier. Uh, through the Chair, look, I guess that reference to good acoustics is in regard to a whole lot of other things as well and that was incorporated as part of the design of the hub originally. If that hasn't turned out to be the case, and I'm not aware of it, any, any specific problems, but if that is, hasn't turned out to be the case, then yeah, we'll have to look at that and, and, and make some adjustments. Question, Mayor, with the acoustics of the hall. Um, I read an email sent to you uh, from a Mrs. Um, um, regarding her son that's out of work and um, sitting in his, um, oh, yes. on his backside and offered his time free of charge to this council to come and look at any of the statistics issues you have because that's his profession. And he'd be more than happy to talk to Mr Ferrier and give him... And he's a very qualified person, I understand, Margaret Heddle, Mrs Heddle's son. No, you're quite right. Um, and I'm sorry if I haven't communicated this um, to our staff before. I think all of us, at the, particularly at the... Um, yeah, at the... Um, what can I think of the word? citizenship ceremonies, um, I'd nearly every time get a comment from a member of the public to say I couldn't hear a word you were saying the whole time um, I was sitting in the back seat. So I think there are some issues in there to tackle. Um, and we did get that offer, so um, I'll speak to Mr Spee or Mr Ferrier. If you haven't got the email, ring me and I'll give you the no, number. I've got, I remember exactly um, the response as well. OK, are there any other? Council one Mitchell. more question in regards to the acoustics. Did we purchase curtain, I know we're going on to the hub, but it is important. Do we purchase curtains to assist with acoustics and some other acoustic things? Mr Smee. Through you, Mayor, yes. Um, the, the curtains that have been recently purchased were um, very much aimed at improving the acoustics because the feedback we got from the initial events we had there that were, the acoustics weren't great. So those curtains have gone in in the past couple of months, but of course we haven't been able to have an event yet to determine whether they are successful. Uh, in relation to the offer from Mr Heddle, uh, I met with him last week. He is going to do an assessment of both the Taruna Hall and the Kettering Hall. Um, and once he's completed them, if if indeed we do have um, further issues with the acoustics at the hub, I'm hoping it wouldn't be stretching the friendship too far to ask him to have a look at that as well. However, the point he did make out when I met with him is that acoustics are quite a complex issue and they very much, the, the acoustic attenuation treatments very much need to be targeted to a particular um, factor that you are trying to address. He said there is no one treatment that will give you perfect acoustics across a whole range. What's good for a rock concert might be terrible for a meeting. So um, we do need to keep that in mind that the hub being a venue that does have a variety of uses, um, there will be some events where the acoustics are, are excellent and there'll be some where they're not so good. Okay, uh, 